new ah, download CD online everywhere. I'm talking about reading them until the stars fall from the sky. Aww. What a great way to name that. Hello, hello, both of you. I'm finna talk to Rita Lim and in with her. Who else not other than we're talking about Patricia. Patricia traveling too. Hello, ladies. How y'all doing? And welcome to the studio. Hi, Commander. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Rita. Hi, <laughs> Sandra. I'm Sandra. Oh, did we forget somebody? Angelo. We <laughs> say first of all, before you and Patricia get to share, and I want to say you have been really, really busy lately. I am. Well, it's Thanksgiving week, and I'm. Uh, thank you for bringing that up. I'm so grateful. You know, like busy is a great thing. I am tired, yeah, it <laughs> but it's a good tire. You know, I think you know I've been working hard all my life to get to where I am. So I'm. Um, I'm grateful for my position and because it's Thanksgiving week. I'm grateful to meet because of the music. I meet good people like you guys. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, um, by the way, I will let our mm -hmm. staff, they all have to listen to you that she likes the studio. We I want to be, you know what I mean? It's and entertaining people all know. Yes. Listen, uh, my thing here uh, that I just want to say from day one you have been through all the genres and different things. Baby on your what inspired you to do that, Jail? And the timing could not be so right. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I've always been a fan of um, great um, American songbook and music. From I think that popular music in the past hundred years had, um, we were, I think it, it's such a treasure, you know, that we have all these music from Cole Porter eras to the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and 90s. And I consider this is the, um, all American songbook, you know, like Baby I'm Yours is the 60s hits that you guys love and you took it to number four or five back in the day. Yeah, but sure. I actually discovered it, believe it or not. This was composed by um, by Van McCoy, but mm -hmm. made popular by Barbara Lewis. I don't know mm -hmm. if you remember her in the 60s. But my dad um, taped a lot of show called Midnight Special back in the day. <laughs> oh, I love the Midnight Special. Oh, and I yeah. actually, you yeah, know, I, I know about that. <laughs> I asked a little girl when I was about 11, I actually um, discovered it through um, seeing Debbie Boone on her, her oh, version wow. in 1979. Yeah. And I remember she came on looking innocent and singing this beautiful song. And it's, it stays with me that I told myself as a young age that one day, I always wanted to record this, but I'm lucky that I have world-class musician and producer, like my other half, David Siegel, who is a world-class producer, and um, he got Latin Grammy Award winner um, Camilo mm -hmm. from Miami, and we kind of want to modernize the song to make it 2024 with a little record tone into it, so uh, it, it's my pride and joy to take all these classics that we love and uh, to continue for the generations to come. Uh, Patricia? I gotta ask, you know what? I know you're getting ready to get ready to interview her, but you have been around the world and seen people and everything. Yeah, when I you have. get back home and you still see how readers sing, how does that fit into your world of travel? And I'm talking with Trish traveling to it every month. Yeah. They, you know, if you're from Italy, she's got us a lot of fans up there. They do listen yeah. to her. Yeah, what do you have to say? You know, it's you know, it's interesting because um, you, when you travel, you 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 just introduced to so much, so many more genres, mm -hmm. and so much more. Um, it, it's just so much to take in. And um, when I come back, you know, one of the things about listening to your music is that that unique sound that you have, that international. It, aside, it, it, it's those soft, sultry sounds, those tones, those beautiful <laughs> round tones, and then you put your specific personality into the music. There's definitely that, um, you were talking about that whole Latin influence, yeah. but there's that international feel that I have always, always loved. Uh -huh. And you very rarely hear that anymore. You don't, <laughs> that, that special stamp on, and, and when we're talking about the new, the new release now, Until the Stars Fall From the Sky, I, you know, somebody asked me the other day, um, well, do you have a favorite song? I, I can't even pick a favorite song because uh, I heard Baby on Yours first, mm -hmm. and then I heard all of the other, Rainy Night in Tokyo has become something that I'm singing. And I'm singing. <laughs> I can't believe how much, um, how much influence it's had, that yeah. emotional impact that I get 
what 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 kind of influence did you have inspiration to put this music this music together which I don't know most of the songs and yet I know their remix. <laughs> Thank you. Right? Well, I I'm very fortunate that I've been um, working um, in so many places um, throughout my career, and um, I always been influenced by different cultures of music. Thank you for mentioning that. And and I really this album is very special to me because it's a collective of songs that. I'm a fan of different, when people ask me what type of singer I am, I have a hard time answering it, because I, I like so many styles of music, and um, mm -hmm. they're all made me who I am. I love Latin music, I love jazz, I love uh, simplicity of the great 1970s lyrics and all that, mm -hmm. but I'm particularly in this album, I'm very proud of, you know, like you were mentioning, I like every song that I, that I have, every song has a special meaning to me. And I'm, I'm honored that I get to interpret a beautiful writing of Michael Franks. That's Rainy Night in Tokyo. Yeah. who's composed by the great Michael Franks, who is wow. an incredible jazz musician and, and, and singer and songwriter. And every song is special. It, it has included American Songbook, like Can't Help Loving That Man that you oh mentioned. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this, this yeah. rendition is amazing. Thank you so much. And uh, it, it has a great many great composers included. Um, I, I think everything. Another very special song that was the first single was Turn Back the Clock. Mm -hmm. Turn Back and, the Clock um, is the acoustic version yeah. of Turn Back the Clock haunts me. Oh, thank yeah. you so much. That is a play. Can't help that love and feel okay. anymore. Oh. Two ladies come oh, back, okay? Night in Soko Las Vegas, prime time with the commander playing music. Everybody knows. <laughs> bass player John Bell survived on it. So I want to make it strictly down to make it into Me and Dave Seagull. But mostly both of us together. Yeah. But this song was my idea. I really want to strip it down to just a bass. This is something I could be in on, but it's just oh, my head. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's a class. Oh no, you don't be talking about oh, no, okay. it. Oh no, we fixed all that. Oh, yeah. like you're in the perfect studio, making something at home. When the mic's off, it's good to go. This is the kind of music for me. For me, music's always been, I love every genre of music. I like everything. You can you can find me listening to like big band jazz, yeah. like from the era of the big bands, all the way up to like new music today. Yeah. New music today has changed so much. I've been to concerts in the last year, I've been to weddings in the last year. Everything is kind of like this crazy. And it's, it's um, the electronic music. I don't hear the, the, I don't hear the, the instruments in the background, and I don't hear that kind of depth that comes from the music. Everybody looking for shows like this, you know? That's why the crowds are coming to leave and they want to go out and just wear something up and nice and emotional. That's what music's supposed to be. That's true. Can I do a little cheat sheet from of your the album? Oh, absolutely. I actually would like to shout out the guitarist who was won Latin Grammy Award in Miami. And I keep forgetting his last name. So they can look at the credit real fast. Camilo Valendia, will you help me remember? Camilo Valendia. Yeah, we'll just write him down. Camilo Valendia. Coming back to you. I'm just going to say that. Valendia? Yes, I'm going to leave this out so I can sign it for you later. Just in case. Oh, my goodness. Everybody, we're listening right there. Right here from beautiful Las Vegas, entertainment capital of the world, Rita, Lil, and of course, Patricia with Trish traveling to her ladies. Y'all go back at it. You know, Rita, that version of this song is my absolute favorite. Oh. And everyone knows that I will take 15 versions of every song and put them all together one <laughs> after the other. I'm a crazy person. But that has become, it is my absolute oh. favorite. And I always wonder about your arrangements. Mm -hmm. Is it a collaboration? This is your this is your music child. It oh, takes a yes, village. It, right? it takes a village. It does take a village to put this together. But um, this particular song that you love has a very special meaning to me too. I one day woke up and I, I've been singing this song for 
a long time. But then I always wanted to cover it, and then I can't help loving that man. It's like an old tune, probably close to 80, 90 years by now. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is that great of a song. And uh, from Showboat, by the way, it's from Showboat. It's just from, I want to make sure I shout out all these um, American songbook history. And um, I woke up one, one day and I think to myself that if I'm going to cover this song, there's a lot of intimacy in my album with the piano, with all of that. I, feel, I, I was really drawn to the bass sound, so I really invited my wonderful bass player who's traveled the world with many artists, including Arturo Sandoval, Jazz Lessons for many years. So his name is John Belzegai. And uh, I want to strip it down and make it intimate with just the bass. So it worked out what you just heard. It's amazing. And the complexities, when it's that simple, the complexities that go into the music. Thank you. Thank you. You can hear every nuance of it. Um, Camila Valendia? That's I right. I am, I, well, I'm very lucky um, that um, Dave Siegel, my musical director, and better half, invited Latin Grammy Award winner Camila Valendia from mm -hmm. Miami to join many of the song on my album, including Smile, which is a great tune. This is not, mm -hmm. this, the Smile is actually um, a song that was written by Marilyn Scott and a group member of Yellow Jacket. And um, Layla Hathaway also recorded it. Mm -hmm. So um, Camillo, our guitarist in the album, covered that song and made Turn Back the Clock sound the way it is that you really liked. You know, it had a very special sound to it. And he was on Baby I'm Yours. Mm. He was on many songs and very special. <laughs> I have more class musicians. If, since you brought it up, may I give them a little shout out? Absolutely. Yeah. So, all you. so on, on sax, on, on smile, it was Ricky, uh, Rick Keller, who was also a world class musician. He toured with, um, currently with Frankie Valley, And um, mm. he's with everybody. You, you name it, Christopher Cross. And um, my drummer is Barry Manilow, very old drummer. Yeah. And that's why I'm Douglas. And um, the the great sound that you hear, mix and master. I have to give it credit to um, Cameron Tyler, who is a wonderful. He has a wonderful studio in town. He become like my little brother, a wonderful musician himself. And John does a guy, as I mentioned earlier. So I think I got everybody covered. So it's a really labor of love, and I'm so grateful that you guys appreciate it. And you can hear you can hear the influence. Of it. It, it, it's it's you know what? It's an it's a sound that evokes emotion, and oh. only that's what music is supposed to do. Mm. Well, so now, when is the release? Tell us about the release. You know, um, it released right now. You can ask. You guys can help me by streaming in any platform of your favorite. So. App, but be it Apple Music, Worldwide, you know, you can listen to it on YouTube Music, Worldwide, Apple Music, Spotify, Pandora, or any platform that is your favorite because it's distributing Worldwide. But I have a two shows album release concert coming up at um, Las, Vegas Work Club, um, Las Vegas Jazz Club, Vix, which is by New York Smith Center. Mm -hmm. A great, great place, but owned by Paul Loudon, Chris Loudon, and Sue Loudon, and, um, we're, I mean, I'm grateful it's sold out already. Uh, wow. Way ahead yes. of time, so I'm wow. very grateful for it Love that all my friends are going to be there. That's real. But um, I'm excited. So, th for uh, the album release party, you can come get the physical CD that you guys are holding right now. And yeah. It's probably be releasing vinyl in a few months, too. So. Oh, I love the vinyl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love so it. So, if you like it, you could just probably uh, uh, reach out to my website, which is readalim.com. That's R I T A. Mm -hmm. L-I-M.com. Well, I tell you, well, we're going to hit another jam of yours Yay. as we get move on along with the clock. And I'm like everybody else. I want to hear this one that you all were talking about. Uh, and uh, you know what? Nights over Las Vegas prime time and the commander play music. Everybody know Rita Lynn. This is a single version. Yeah. The full band version, which I love. It's on every lot of radio you know where she can be at. So, you get a chance um, to see her during the holiday season. Yeah, I love it. Oh, okay. <laughs> when it's this loud, I can't hear it. 
Uh, Post it out. Okay. You good? Oh, no, no, we're here, but I'm two different people. I'm one person when I'm in a quiet room and I can talk, and yeah. because of my hearing disability, yeah. I'm a completely different person when I'm in music. I can't hear it. In a car, I listen to it loudly. Right? I do too, and I can't hear it. I gotta be watching the fan and say, alright, let me turn that down. I'm good. So, um, you wanna tell me some of that and listen to some shows? Yeah, I'd like to talk about it. That's a simple theory. Turn back the clock by Rita Lynn and Smile. It's mostly all the Smith Center. Smile. Smile. I appreciate it so much. That's smile. I love you, smile. And of course, a uh, new release that's coming out all over the world. And boy, do we love it on Night Silver Las Vegas Prime Time with the Commander. Come on, Miss Rita Lim. Me the day. When I mention the games of all my shows, whenever you just watch the Star Trek, you can use the best comps, okay? You can take it at the Smith Center. Whenever they get balls on, you can do this or something. There was one or two that I think we could get because we do our team in the market center in Las Vegas because we have the books. Yeah. And we sell the books. So, by the way, thank you for the gift. I love that book so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's right in my living room. Yeah. The books can change the world. Oh, really? Yeah, because we did on the outside of the book, I, I did some artwork. I mean, you know, it came out really hey, nice and we put that on the new Hey, don't forget, you can always pick these up right away and support. And coming back with her and Patricia, they're going to tell you what she's going to be, what's going on, but here's a big hit. Turn back the clock, huh? Before I get into what's coming up, um, you can find me weekly in Las Vegas. Um, Saturday, I am at an iconic place called Blue Lake Bistro, mm -hmm. and owned by Dennis and Lorraine Hunt Bono, and um, that's been around forever. I'm there 10 to midnight, so that's Saturday. And Sunday nights, I am at um, the wonderful, I think it's the best kept secret, you guys may agree, mm -hmm. Tuscany places. Hotel and Casino. Shout out. It's, it's like yeah, a cabaret yeah. room, so it's, it's really yeah. fabulous yeah, it's for acoustics. I appreciate it's it. Great. And shout out to Mr. Um, Brett here, the owner, who kept me there for a long time. I'm very proud of it. I'm there every Sunday night, 7 to 10.30. And Monday, I'm at a beautiful Italian place that you guys love Italy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a love place fresh. called Prosecco in Henderson, and the food mm -hmm. is to die for. Oh. Right? That's so wonderful. Well, but I'm excited. Thank you for asking. Beside my album release at Fix, that I'm so grateful that sold out already on December 12th, and that's going to be uh, um, album release last Christmas show. So it sold oh. out. It sold out within days that mm -hmm. it released. But next year, I have a lot of things coming up that uh, I would like to share with all of you. You can put on your calendar. Mm -hmm. um, February, uh, February 18th. I am at Myron's at the Smith Center, which I um, mm -hmm. uh, love that place so much, thanks to um, uh, Myron's Martin, you know, the CEO. 
And we're doing a show called Soul Fusion, and that was uh, produced and brought to all of us by my uh, my manager, mm -hmm. Mrs. Steve Arnell, wonderful world class manager, and and lead and co produced by David Siegel, my better half. And this is going to star top the cream of the top of Las Vegas, my, my friend Ali Starr, she's an international recording artist, mm -hmm. that tour with Will Smith and, um, and Evelyn Champagne King, wow. and all that. Wow. my best friend Ashley Fuller is on that show, true one of one so of the very talented. best boys. Ashley, what's the name of that again, ladies? Um, uh, Ashley Fuller, she's no, on no, no, the name show called Soul Fusion. Soul Fusion. Soul Fusion. That's next year, 2025. Um, yes, February 18, wow. 2025, which is a month and a half from now. You wow. will need to get those tickets I know that feeling. <laughs> you guys will get a ticket from yeah. me. Make sure you guys have, have yes. tickets. And then that's wow. featuring me, Ashley Fuller, Ali Starr, Ken Fletch, who is um, a phenomenal, wow. phenomenal, phenomenal singer. And uh, who else is on the bill? Me, Ashley, Ali Starr. Yeah, that's it. And then World Class Band. That... Um, it's going to be a great show. It's sold, it sold out last time, and this is a, it's, it's, it's Soul Fusion number four. And I want to make sure you guys are there. I want to make sure you guys, oh, I'm yeah, gonna bugging you for you to get there. Tickets, actually, the tickets on sale right now already. They are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So please go on uh, um, Smith Center website, Myron's at Smith Center website, mm -hmm. and you can get that tickets, or you can go to mine. And then, oh, I'm sorry. And then um, no, another no, one, no, I'm excited for a new one that I actually haven't talked about it yet, but on April 30th next year, I am launching a new show called Two Strong Hearts, and that's going to be at Myron's at the Smith Center, too. And that's mm. going to be um, a musical tribute that I'm very uh, proud to to share with you. It's a, um, emphasizing on the friendship of Karen Carpenter and Olivia Newton-John. Wow. So two of my idols and heroes that uh, I'm excited about this project. So tickets can go on sale in December, so please check Smith Center website. I really appreciate it. You can support me on that one. And... Um, in August, August 1st, I am doing another show, uh, making a wonderful tribute to Canadian singers, and we can talk about that next year, but that's in August. Oh, but yeah. tonight, though, you guys, mm -hmm. if you are free, Monday, yeah. yeah, I am going to be joining and sitting in with um, Dave Siegel and Ali Starr, mm -hmm. and this is a show produced by Steve Arno that I just mentioned, who's my manager. They have a special show tonight at Composer Room. Commercial oh, Center at 7 p.m. Tickets only $25. It's going to be oh, a great. fun, great R&B. All of you are open so, drivers out there yeah, listening yeah, yeah, to me, yeah. looking for people to go. Thank you. Stop by this is the place to go tonight. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, before uh, Patricia has our uh, final question and you all wrap up, yeah. this, uh, the center is, as an entertainer, that is a beautiful place. You, that is a great place to perform. Huh? Yes, for well, a lot of you locals, place. new who are new, I had some people ask me. I've been hearing a lot about the Smith Center, but mm -hmm. being an entertainer, yeah. getting the first hand for you is a great place that they need to check out now. Huh? Um, Myron Smith Center. Yes, yes, Myron Smith Center is to me is Carnegie Hall, very Las classic. Vegas. That's what it's I was a, It's epitome of Las Vegas, and I'm very proud of to be there. And um. Myers and Smith Center is just a world class venue. It was actually um, awarded by by everybody in the business that um, it's truly one of the top of the place to perform in the world. So, wow. Mm -hmm. I actually, I, I, we go to as much as we can at Myers yeah. when we're in You can all agree. I don't even have to oh, advertise yeah. it. Absolutely. Because Myron is a pretty of class. The size of Myron's yes. is just perfect. Mm. Yeah. It's not too big. You have to get your tickets early. When you know yes. somebody's talking, you know someone's there, you have to get yeah. your tickets early because it's not huge. It's just such a fabulous place to Very see intimate. Yeah. It's an intimate, it really is. An, it's, and it's, the acoustic it's, in there is, is the very it's best. Amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Ladies, we've got about less than a minute here, so I'll turn it over to you, uh, Patricia. I'm going to say I'm just going to say <laughs> Until the stars fall from Thank the you. sky, it is Reader's new, it's her new CD, it's her new music release. All of the music on here, even for me, who I love music, so much of this music is new, even though it's very nice. Uh -huh. And Rita just puts a stamp on this Thank music you. that is amazing. Your sound is so fabulous. I appreciate um, it. I want, I want all these songs to be sound in 2024, 2025. Yeah. So, I'm in love yeah. already. Yeah. I'm you were talking earlier, you need to just do a whole set at some of your favorite places and let Thank people you. come in and hear it. Just yeah, all your just music. music. I would love oh, to come wow. and listen to a show yeah. where it's just Patricia, amazing. before we Thank leave, you. tell us about what they can do to contact yeah. you to travel. Yeah, yeah. Just travel and talk. 
Finally, and you got and this Donald nice Trump. book. You can, by the way, if y'all ever pass booths and you see Trish traveling tours at their booth, tell us about it. Yeah, yeah, we've got a we've got a new part of the business. So you know, we're still doing tours in Italy. We're doing private mm -hmm. tours, small private tours in Italy, and and um, we were actually we came back in October, so we've been back for a number of weeks now. And um, you know, it started out as us just doing um, thank yous for our clients for the year. And I used to make little DVDs and yeah. send them out the DVDs. And I decided just one time I was talking to someone during a tour and they were telling me how, we were talking about how all of our, our images these days are on the phone. Nothing is really, it's on our computer, yeah. it's on the phone, we don't put anything on the wall, we don't have anything in the house anymore. <laughs> and we had a whole wall dedicated to, to pictures when I was growing up. And you can, so I decided to do for them um, a book. And I made a book, and they loved it. Everyone yeah. loved it. Yeah, everyone so, loves mine. I'm proud to say that I own one, and it's a really beautiful book. Thank yeah, you so much for They the come to my house. Look, can I just take? You can get another one. No, no. Uh, this is my book. This is it's beautiful. And you know what? We felt the people just loving the feedback yeah, and the very response nice. as a Christmas gift, just as a thank you yeah. at the end of the year, a Christmas gift that we sent out to maybe 20 or 30 people a year, 40 people, sometimes a little bit more. And I got such great feedback. So right now we've decided it's called See Italy Through Our Eyes. It's on our website at www.trishastravelandtour.com. But we're also now in the markets in Las Vegas doing the Christmas markets. And we're out there selling, showing the books to everybody and selling the books. And they're doing very well. Well, I want, since I want to add in, um, I really encourage you guys to get this book. And could you please tell us the website again slowly because I want my fans to hear it because it's such a great book. I think yeah, you guys yeah. need to get this for Christmas. It's at www.trishastravelingtour.com. And um, you'll see a lot of the advertising that mm -hmm. I do on um, Facebook and TikTok. Um, I love that book. That book. But thank you so, so much. Beautiful. I appreciate that. Everything mm -hmm. is done by me. So we pho I photograph everything. Mm -hmm. um, I do all of the editing, right? I have the yeah, great coffee editing. table I book. Together. I think it will be additional it's, for your living room. Yes, yeah. it's a, it's kind of like a coffee table mm -hmm. book. Uh, and it's great, like Angela. Would you go in and sell everybody Yay, in Paris and <laughs> Italy? Hello. Oh, hey, As Italy. we close it down here, let us know what you also <laughs> think about myths. Rita Angela listens to Rita's music. The first speech everybody in the chat. Ciao. Allora, buongiorno a tutti. Allora, se volete ascoltare l'ultimo CD di Rita Lim, sarà disponibile verso dicembre. Bellissime canzoni. So, do not forget Rita Lim, the new CD will be available soon in December. Yes, December. Okay, it's so up right now. Actually, my, your fans in Italy can get it on any platform yeah. now. Uh, Pandora, iTunes, Spotify. Thank you so much, Angelo, for plugging that for my Italian friends. And they can hear it right here in Italy, too. Yes. Yes. Italia. Let us in Italia when you want to Apple and uh, also Spotify, Pandora, and all these great platforms. Grazie a tutti. Ciao. Grazie. Ciao. Everybody good. Listen, thank all of you for being here. And uh, again, Rita, thank you so much. We're going to keep playing your music. So, right. so ain't one of them stations where well, they are not here. Well, my crowd. We're going to keep jamming it. Patricia, you know we got you covered out there. Thank and you so much for having us. This is the here. commander and thanking uh, Miss Rita Lim. And boy, y'all, if you haven't seen it, if your tourists come into town or in town or think about coming this holiday, Put that on that to-do list, huh? Yep. I got one. Mm -hmm. You know what the command is going to do. What's the name of this? Oh, Rainy Night in Tokyo. Oh, is one of very favorite song. <laughs> oh gosh, I love this song so much. But thank you, yeah. guys. So generous of you to have me today. Thank you so much. And I know you haven't been on the show for a long time, so thank you, thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was good, ladies. Thank you. I thank you for having us. No, we're going to show you Oh, wonderful. So for a little bit, we're going to do...
going through an interview. Uh, but I just you no, know, you're so amazing on it. I think you should make time for it. I love doing this. I never considered doing it in my whole life. All right. Do you want me to take a picture with you, Patricia? Yes, sir. No, you ain't got to pose. Just, no, just be yourself. That's the beauty of the studio. You ain't got to pose. There you go. Can you tell me stand behind her? And I want to go with Angelo and you too. Yeah. I'll take that picture. Okay, ready? One, two, three.